Hello, my name is Tom Stiles, and this is Tom's Radio Room Show number 49. Here I'm showing you my YouTube channel, where I upload and store my videos for your entertainment or demise or whatever. Today I want to talk about one of the radios that I use a lot, and I really like it. And I'm going to give you some information about it and some reasons why I like it. And that radio is the middle of the page is the Tentec RX320D HF receiver receiver. And I actually have the predecessor which is just the RX320. And this is what I call a radio in a box. So this is not a very blown up picture but anyway, um it's a small box, uh, about half the size of a shoe box, maybe a little wider. And there's no dials or anything on it, knobs, nothing. Everything is done by computer control. And if we, um, we go look at the specifications, <clears throat> <clears throat> excuse me, the uh, frequency range is 100 to 30 megahertz, 100 hertz to 30 megahertz. 100 kilohertz to 30 megahertz, and it runs off of a, a little power cube, and it's quite sensitive, very, very sensitive as far as I'm concerned, compared to some of other radios, and um, it weighs a lot, oh, here's the dimensions, it's uh, six and a quarter by three inches by six and a half inches, so that gives you an idea of the dimensions, yeah, size. Now here is the internal picture of the main board, or the only board actually, um, that does all the work. And what it does, it, it does, does all the front end work that a receiver would do, and then the back end work is done inside your computer. The controlling of the frequencies, the setting of the volumes, the setting of the squelch, all that's done in your PC, and you connect it via, in this case, this is the one I have, it's an RS-232 port. I believe the newer one is a USB port. And you have the uh, antenna connection over here. You have the um, line out that goes to your computer so you can record things on your computer and an external speaker connection because <clears throat> it does not have an internal speaker. And an on-off switch over here. So that, that's basically it. There's, as you see, this is the front panel back here. And there's nothing except a light that shows you that's on on the front panel. So how do we control this? Here is the, a picture of the software that comes from Tintech. Got their little logo down here. And you control the radio via this interface here. This is the turning knob. Here you can change the receive mode. This is receiver only, of course. And then you can change the uh, step frequencies, how you step through the band. Over here is the volume control. <clears throat> and it does have an S meter. We'll give you an S indication. And it does have some other interfaces. Here is a spectrum analyzer that you can run. And you can set the range. It's right now with, on this illustration. It's set at 300 kilohertz. So that's the width of what you're seeing, which is in this case 940, 9.485 to 9.765. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then you can have it swept continuously or one time. You can change the colors. You can change whether it's a solid graph or just a line graph. And so you can you can uh, do this spectrum sweep across the band that you're interested in. Of course, you can modify this range. I don't remember the maximum range. I think it's a megahertz. And then you could also, in this window, you can set up prefix uh, frequencies so that you can do a, a quick select of frequencies that you use quite often. And so that's kind of the simple um, interface that comes with the radio itself from Tintech. Then we can go over to this one. This is uh, some software, and there's a lot of software 
written for this radio. That's another reason I like it. Some of it is really elaborate and complex, and I'll show you one of those. And this is only a sampling of the uh, software that's out there. Um, this is one of the programs I use. Uh, it's written by a, a man by the name of Clifton Turner, and he's done an excellent job. You can see he's got a nice little interface here, a big S meter. Uh, here it shows you the filters, a graphic representation of the filters. And uh, here's the memory banks that you can store pre-selected um, frequencies like, like you did in the other one. And it has a lot of other features um, that you can use your computer to control the radio. Then we'll go over to the next one. This is another one. This is uh, one called GR, GNRX320. I've used this before. It has some uh, nice features too. I like, I like his uh, S-meter that he set up. Um, Again, you can have pre-selected stations. Uh, you've got all these filters you can choose from uh, for filtering uh, the incoming signal. And um, there's various ways that you can change the frequency manually using up, down, putting in a digital value, um, control the volume, control the line out separately so you can... Uh, you're going into a computer you can have that at a different level than what's coming out of your speaker <coughs> so this is uh, another nice application for controlling the radio go on to the next one <coughs> now um, I got this a little bit out of order but I'll show you this anyway you can actually someone went to the trouble of writing an application for the palm hand handheld and this kind of gives you a, an indication of when this radio came out uh, at the time the uh, little palm held held pda was um, quite popular and this person wrote um, a application for the palm which allow you to control this radio and i don't know if you can see it very good in this picture but it lets you uh, select various frequencies and filters and stuff like that. And uh, the uh, Palm had an RS-232 output that you normally connected to the computer. And what you did is you just connected this RS-230 output to the radio and away you went. I, I've tried this. It works fine. Um, I prefer using the computer, of course, because I have many more features on the computer. Okay, now we go to the uh, more elaborate ones. This one is uh, not freeware. Matter of fact, I think it's about $99. Um, it's called RX Plus. And it's kind of like I said, the Cadillac of the uh, software for this particular radio. It has a lot of functions. Here's, uh, you know, a spectrum view. Um, here's... Um, a history of a database of channels you've listened to and you can select just click on one of those and it'll tune the radio to it automatically it has an s meter and it's pretty uh, pretty uh, elaborate and uh, but like i say this one's not free i think it's around 99 dollars to get this one okay here's another um view of that uh Palm, using a Palm PDA to control the software. And this, this particular web page um, also shows you using the program called SDR Radio, which I've talked about in one of my shows in the, in the past. And here you're using this, this software to look at the audio output of the receiver in a, a spectrum view. And uh, as I mentioned before in Mother's Show, you've got a lot of options using this SDR uh, radio software. So someone has written one specific, has, has sh showing you that you can use 
that application for this radio and use um, the other applications for actually controlling the radio and looking the output of, of the radio with this software down here. And last but not least, this is uh, an individual who um, actually built a uh, electronic interface for it so that <laughs> you've, you've taken your uh, uh, receiver was just as which is just a box and you're now controlling it like you would a normal receiver and he has built this interface for it and it shows you the frequency and the um, S reading and stuff like that and you got a one control knob over here for various things such as selecting frequency and stuff like that so you can see this this particular radio is quite popular and here's different ways it's been packaged and it's this the person that came up with this this is what he's actually selling is a circuit card here uh, which on the other side has the uh, display panel there's a display panel so that's the uh, Tintec RX320 and the uh, the model number now is the uh, 320D which has the DRM application our, our ability which mine does not have and I really didn't see any need for that so if you have any questions uh, just leave me a comment or send me an email and thanks for coming that's the show for today